My name is Detective Jingle Jam. I'm a detective up here in the North DFW area. Um, and this is what a normal day is like for me. So right now, I'm just kind of patrolling around. Similar to a patrol officer, not really. Usually I am on an investigation, but it really doesn't hurt to kind of just uh, know where you are, kind of get used to the area, maybe. Like, no, like, see there's construction over there? I didn't know there's construction. It really does help to know. Nope. Don't remember a speed bump back there. Huh. Uh, so I've been on the force for a while now, and uh, these past few years as a detective. I think the job suits me pretty well. So we just got a call in from dispatch. There's a hit and run. All right, there it is. Ooh, pretty bad. All right, so let's check this out real quick. It's about five or six, if I guess correctly. Um, I mean, yeah, just normal case of reckless driving. Just, I mean, it's a really nice area too. So it, it really su construction. You don't think that's the same construction from earlier, do you? Because if, because the speed bump was. So these are some incident files I filled out. Every time there's an investigation, I have to fill one out. Typically, every few days I got one. If you look right here, it lets you know if a gun was used. Uh, it's pretty cool. Here's my gun. It's really nice, feels really good in the hand. Uh, it's actually a really light trigger. It's a very, very simple. Um, uh, uh, what was that, detective? Oh, no, I'm just kind of showing him some file. Oh, that's not, no. Uh, oh, yeah. We have a code 93 in progress. Go. Copy. Sorry about that. Gun, just forgot it. So, a code 93. Uh, basically, it just means a crime in progress. Looks like I'm the first one here. It's pretty exciting. I'm usually not the first. <laughs> so, as you saw earlier, the chief doesn't really take too kindly to me. But I don't think we can prove him wrong. Can you imagine how proud he would be when I walk out that door with the perp all tied up in handcuffs? So we could ring the doorbell and talk to them, maybe get somewhere. But I'm thinking, what if we just bust in and grab him, you know? No, we just cut all the chit chat and we, we got our guy, you know? I think the chief would be more proud of me if I did that. Let's go through the back, come on. That's weird. That shit looks a lot like my pool. I don't know, I guess people have similar pools. Um, this actually looks a lot like my house, if I'm being honest. I mean, I know they use the same house designs and stuff in neighborhoods to cut down the costs, but um, I don't know, it's kind of weird going to one that looks just like my house. Um, <laughs> it'd be funny if they actually use like, the same house key, like lock in everything as mine. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> Open. It's like a really dumb thing to do, right? I mean, just using the same house key, like the same lock. I could just break into their house if I wanted to. Oh well, let's go check out inside. Actually, it's a lot like my house, like, weird. My TV. These are my movies. This is my bathroom. This is my room. I don't know what they're trying to do. Are they trying to like, imposter me or something? Or? No. These are my clothes! Look at my things! She sent me a picture of this guy, maybe we can... You're not gonna edit this one. It's not over yet. You're coming in with me. So 
up going on, Chief? Detective, I think I owe you an apology. You know what? All I need is a handshake. Did good work. Oh. Well, that's what's like in the day in the life of a detective. Thanks for watching. You have the right to remain silent. I know.